Alright, so it's October 3rd still, and I thought I would make a life update, um, just about life things, because last video, the transitional update, I mean, I did talk about a little bit about the three weeks of depression and anxiety and bad things that were happening, um, but I figured a life update, I should talk about the actual going-ons of my life, besides just, you know, getting a surgery date, going through this emotional roller coaster. Um, so basically, this summer, I fell in love with my best friend, um, which is the most beautiful thing in the world, really. Uh, she's great. I'm going to put some links down below uh, for my blog of just, like, pictures of me and her um, and just a little bit more about what's going on with that. Um, so that was just so lovely. We went camping. Uh, she met my dad. She met, like, my brother and my mom. Um, I met her family. She lives on this farm. It's pretty, pretty cute. Um, and, yeah, I think what they say about being in love with your best friend is kind of it's kind of true, like, it's very simple and pure, and I just am so happy. Um, she's the first, like, totally, like, I guess, I don't, I'm not sure really how she identifies with her sexuality, but heterosexual is kind of what she's going for. Um, she's only ever been attracted to and dated boys, so um, for me, being trans, like, that was a little, I mean, I was a little nervous about that. Uh, she's been my best friend since I got to college, so um, it's great. Like, we weren't really in the same friend group, but we'd always hang out. So I don't know, I mean, she makes me like swoon like a biggest goober on the face of the planet. But um, yeah, so that was cool. So we kind of started uh, getting together like in May. We call May 11th our official anniversary, but really it didn't, we didn't really start like dating, dating until we lived together for five weeks over the summer. So that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, and she's totally okay with me being transgender. I was so nervous about dating, like especially dating like a, like a heterosexual identified um, person, but like, the way she makes me feel is, like, it's, like, you know what? Like, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm a guy. Like, who cares, like, what I was before, or, like, how I identify as, like, transgender or whatever. Like, I'm still a guy, and that's what... That's, like, all that really matters. Um, like, bodies aren't, like... Bodies, like, aren't as much of, like, an, as, like of you as, like, your aura and, like, what you give off is. So she really just, like, loves me for who I am, and, um... It kills me a little bit. It makes me so happy. Um... She makes me really happy, and yeah, and she's, and I came out to her as being trans, like, freshman year of college, I was like, you're one of my good friends, like, you should know this, like, I just got in top surgery, and I was like, I may as well tell her, so I did, um, I guess according to her, she freaked out a little bit, because she had liked me then, too, so, um, I guess she freaked out a little bit, I was like, oh my god, like, existential crisis, but then she realized it didn't really matter, she's like, what's the big deal, so, um, yeah, I feel, I feel really happy about that, um, it's been lovely. It's been so lovely. So the story with that though is she's actually abroad right now for the whole year. Um, and the plan was during the summer it was kind of like, all right, let's take things easy. Like you know, most importantly, we're best friends. Uh, but more than that, like we fell in love. So by the time the end of the summer came, it wasn't it wasn't so much that we wanted to do the whole like we'll go our separate ways. Like she's abroad for a year um, until May tenth, actually the day before technical one year anniversary, which is funny. Um, but I'll be there to get her, her mom, hopefully, so I'm excited, but, um, yeah, she's traveling from, she's in D.C. right now, she's going to Turkey on Wednesday, she's going to Turkey on Wednesday, um, and then to Tanzania for, like, eight weeks, and, uh, India for, like, six, it's, like, between six and eight weeks in each place, so the Turkey, Turkey's only two weeks, and then Tanzania, India, New Zealand, and Mexico, yeah, yeah, so, uh, it's, like, this traveling program, and so, um, she has to move around and learn a lot about the different countries that she's going to be in and learn about grassroots organizing, globalization, and all this sorts of awesome stuff that I'm really excited for her about. So that's cool, but it makes it really hard to stay in contact, obviously. Like, she doesn't have a computer. Um, it's very, like, you know, going from place to place all the time. So Snail Mail is a good friend. is a good friend. And um, occasional emails and stuff like that. So it's really hard. Um, and so instead of, so we're like, we knew it was going to be hard, so we're like, oh, we'll go our separate ways, like, you do your thing, I'll do mine. And it was kind of like, I'm not into the hookup culture, so I might, so I might jam it all, so I was like, I'm not, I was like, girl, like, I'm not going to be hooking up with the people, like, I love you, so, you know, what do you do? And so she was kind of like, yeah, it seems silly to just break up when you're in love. So we're together, um, long distance, which is something that I said I was never going to do again, but I guess it is only temporary, because she will be back for senior year. Um, and she'll be back in May. And it's hard. It's like 221 days till she gets back now, and she's been gone for like two weeks, so it's definitely hard. Um, but I think it's totally worth it. I think if you're really in love, like, 
why not let you chase that, you know? She makes me really happy, even even when she's far away. And so, uh, yeah, I've had a lot of people ask me, like, you know, are you worried, like, she's going to find somebody else? Like, are you worried, like, you know, about that and, like, and stuff. And then I, I was worried, but I realized, like, you know, things, like, things happen, like, stuff happens, and um, worrying is kind of a waste of my energy. That's <laughs> what so my dad told me today. He's like, worrying is a waste of your energy, son. Like, and I was like, okay, <laughs> I'll stop worrying then. So, um, but that was about something totally different. It was just about school. So, um, yeah, that was pretty cool. And, um, so I'm not too worried. I trust her, like, entirely. So, it's a good thing. I'm really happy that we're staying together and that I'm in love with her. It's just like, ah, oh, oh. Yeah, it's scary. I didn't think this could ever happen, so I'm very happy. Um, and lastly, school-wise, is going pretty good. Um, I had a really long week of training at the beginning of getting back to school. Um, because I'm a peer mentor, which has been really difficult because my professor doesn't give me time to like actually be with my mentees. So I have to work on that uh, and get, you know, try and wiggle my way in there. I feel like I'm just like a TA in the class, so I'm trying to like make that connection. It's a little difficult, but um, I'm definitely gonna have a conversation with her and be like, yo, yeah, you know, give me some time with these kids, please. So I gotta get on that. But um, otherwise, I'm taking 18 credits this semester, so I'm really busy. Uh, I'm in a poetry writing class, which has been awesome. Um, I'm in a painting class, which is just killing me. I'll also post a link to my one of my paintings below from my blog as well. Pretty cool. Um, and I'm in, uh, what else am I in? Photography, which is fantastic. I love my photo professor. Uh, photo wasn't something I was very into, but now I'm considering like taking advanced photography too. Um, I bought a camera, a, a digital SLR. I'm going to have to sell my video camera, so unfortunately my video quality is not going to get better, but as you can see, I haven't really been using my video camera, so therefore I'm selling it around Christmas time and uh, to pay for the DSLR that I got. So, cool. Um, there's a little switcheroo there, you know, the way things go. But yeah, overall, like, school's going really well. Fall is a beautiful season. I've been playing a lot of guitar. As a matter of fact, that's what I was doing while I was waiting for the last video to uh, close there. And um, yeah, things overall have been pretty good. Got a haircut. I'm growing out a braid. It looks really dumb. Everyone hates it. But I'm growing it out. It's just a little, like, rat to you can see it. Um, but I'm gonna have it so I can have a little braid off the side of my head. I'm really excited. Uh, it's been growing for like a couple months now. It looks really awkward, but so it goes, I guess. Um, anyway, I actually have to head off to my poetry class, so I'm gonna cut this a little short. But life overall is good. Um, I've been really busy. Really busy. Like, honestly, this is the first free time I've had in about a month. So, really busy. Um, I'm gonna try to keep making videos. Uh, I definitely have a few topics I do need do need to get on, of course. Um, and I'll play some more of my music. I decided I was going to write an entire album this year for the, the girl. Uh, so that'd be cool, I guess, if I could get it done. But I'll play some more songs, I guess. Um, and yeah, so overall, it was a good summer. Um, I guess to summarize, summarize, I'm in love with my best friend. School's really stressful, but I'm learning a lot. The weather changing is great. Um, my mom's off in California right now having a good time. I've seen a lot of her and talked to her a lot. And, my brother finally has a girlfriend, and so every, everything seems to be going along pretty pretty well. I'm really happy. I've been working out. Can't really see. I'm wearing like quite a lot of clothes. I'll show some time after I get a little, a little progress. Uh, I think I'll work out more hardcore after hysterectomy because I won't have, you know, I, won't, I don't want to work really hard and then just get cut open and then have to rework. It's like, why not just play guitar instead? So, you know, life goes on. But um, I hope everybody else is doing good. I apologize I have not answered any YouTube messages in months and I really need to get on that I really need to work on that I don't answer emails either and I haven't really been on form spring and I don't know what to do I, I read everything I do I read everything um, I'm a little backed up but I do read everything I just feel really bad I like hope it's understandable but like I literally just have to focus on college because I have a lot of work to do and a lot of painting and just like all this stuff so I apologize that's the sad part it's just a sad ending but otherwise things are good Alright, I hope everybody's good. Peace.